A movie with Batman in the 70s with martial arts? I'm down. Cool, 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 cool. Very cool, very cool. Welcome, movie watchers. If this is the first time you guys are on my channel, thank you for stopping by. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming videos. Today, we're talking about the DC animated universe film Batman Soul of the Dragon. In the 1970s, a missing martial arts teacher is the subject of a quest by Batman and his former classmates. This movie has a mixture of James Bond and Enter the Dragon and Batman and and I was all on board with this film. The vibe and the look of it and the score all feels like something from the 1970s. The hairstyle, the clothing, everything screams the 1970s. And I was in love with the way that this film looked. It's a unique way to tell a Batman story. Batman is approached by a former classmate of his, Richard Dragon, to go searching for a missing martial arts teacher. Throughout the film, Richard Dragon and Batman get other classmates of theirs like Lady Shiva and Bronze Tiger to go searching for their former martial arts teacher and there's a sword involved and there's bad guys, of course. I mean, it's Batman. The best thing I can say about Soul of the Dragon is that it does feel unique. It offers a unique approach to Batman. Now, Batman in his suit, I think it was rarely in the film besides maybe a couple scenes in the middle and then kind of towards the end but it's a lot of exploring the past of batman when he was with his sensei and his classmates and learning all the different techniques that he knows now i think the approach of the film and the style and the setting is very clever and a different way to tell Batman's story and i was really involved with that i love the exploration of his past but there's at times where we are telling a linear story and then he starts to remember something, a training of his from years prior, and it takes up a lot of time. We go from an action scene and then he sees something, he remembers things previously, and then we go back to the sensei and him teaching Batman and the other classmates and different techniques that he remembers. And it's a good chunk of time and you're forgetting what the actual scene was about prior to that and then it jumps back into it. It's not like a brief moment where he's fighting somebody and then starts to remember something they have a flashback, it's brief and then it goes back to the scene. It takes up a lot of time and takes away from those intense action scenes that were prior to this flashback. So moments like this and they happen quite often really take you out of the moment. And throughout the film, we are introduced to Richard Dragon, Lady Shiva, Bronze Tiger, and each one of them has a connection to Bruce Wayne. I don't feel like it's a strong connection, and they do feel important to the storyline and all of them getting together to find the sensei. But, if, but when they go back to those flashback moments, they don't do a great job of showcasing why their connection is so strong. They have drifted away throughout the years, but the flashback is supposed to tell us that their connection is strong and that they are good on a team together. And then when they're getting everybody together throughout the film, I don't feel that strong connection that the flashbacks were supposed to build up. So for a story for this movie, I think the look of it, the characters, the score, the James Bond kind of opening worked and then kind of an enter the dragon and then Richard Dragon looks a little similar to Bruce Lee. I loved all of those elements in here. I've been watching all of the DC animated universe films and they all kind of feel the same, but this one feels very different from what we've gotten before. But unfortunately, the storytelling and how they went back in time and had these flashbacks I don't think that they were very concrete. I don't think they offered a unique way to build this relationship between Bruce Wayne and Lady Shiva, Bronze Tiger, and Richard Dragon. You could tell that they were classmates previously, but you never felt that strong connection as they were introduced throughout the film. Richard Dragon and Batman were first, and then like, all right, let's go get Lady Shiva. All right, let's go get Bronze Tiger. And then they were all together trying to find their sensei, and then a big, pretty interesting end of the film. But you felt like they were just there together, and they weren't the strongest of friends because of those flashback moments. 
Nonetheless, interesting movie. I enjoy watching the DC animated films. A unique, it was a unique spin on the character. Tone, the setting, the score, all of it screamed the 70s and I was all for it. I'm gonna go ahead and give Batman Soul of the Dragon a B minus. Thank you guys for checking my review for Batman Soul of the Dragon. Have you guys seen this new DC animated film? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming videos. My name is Justin Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.